Hey everybody, it's me Kim. Okay, I'm coming to y'all with the foundation review. Okay, now um, you know I'm a very oily girl and I'm always looking for foundations to um control my oily skin. So I went to Sephora, you know, trying to find some foundation that will control the oily skin. And um, the lady directed me over to this chart. And it's Tarte Amazon Clay Full Coverage Foundation. The broad spectrum SPF 15 sunscreen is in it. And it says it's high performance. It's a high performance natural or something. I think that's what it said. I don't have my glasses on, Steve. But um, it claims to really controls the oil on our skin because they say that clay um, really helps with the oil. I don't know how true this is. Um, I remember a couple of the girls reviewed this um, years ago. And um, so I'm going to give it a try. And so um, I'm not going to put any primer or should I put primer on one side and then no primer on another. No, let's just do the whole wear test. And I'll come back in a couple hours and let you know how it works out for me. So let's just apply the makeup, the foundation. Okay, it comes in a box like this that I'll show you guys. And then the container is like this. And it has a little wooden top. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I have um, shade 575 in Rich Sand. Now, it says 12-hour makeup. Um oil free it says oil free so let's just see um anything is, i'll try anything when it comes to trying to stay dry and now that the um fall is coming it kind of helps out that it's not as hot you know but um i still sweat so let's just try this out and like i said i want to come back and um let me cut the cv down Okay, so I'm going to just put it on, no primer, no nothing, just foundation. And I'm going to come back in a couple of hours. Now, I am going to wipe my face with some my, with some my, my Selects first. And so, yes, I'm going to wipe my face with some my Selects water. I went over and got the, um, what is it, the um, CVS brand. I didn't have enough money for the my Selects water that I usually get by going here. I think I pronounced it right. But um, it's pore perfecting toner, and it's good. I mean, it helps, you know, it's non-drying for all skin types. And um, no artificial fragrances or dyes, paraben, and something free. Conditions, pores, and gently removes dirt, oil, and makeup. So, and I go and I get my rounds, my cotton rounds from Walmart. And they're only like $1.99. So, um... Let's just clean my face off first before we apply this stuff. And, um... Uh, Alright. So. So we make sure that our skin is nice and clean. And I love the way this my selects water feels on my face. I mean, it just. But I can tell the difference between the other brand, the main brand, and the store brand. I really could. My face feels a lot cooler with the other brand, but um. Now this is going to serve the purpose. Okay, so now that we have our face clean and our pores clean out. I'm just going to apply this foundation and we're just going to see what it does. And um, let's hope I found something to help my oily skin, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to pour it on my e.l.f. brush. I'm using my e.l.f. Um, foundation brush. I need to pick up some more of these, too. It's a sque it comes out in a squeezy tube, so I just squeezed it onto the um, brush. And so technically, I guess that's like two pumps. I don't know, but two pumps, I don't know. So, let's just put it on our face first and uh, see what we got here. 
and I'm stippling it in first. And you know my mirror is here, so you see me looking over here, it's because I have a mirror here. Now, this shade, I don't know if this is a good match. I trusted the lady, you know, in Sephora because that's their job. Not necessarily they have to match you up, right? So I trusted their judgment because I asked another lady, and she said, well, yeah, that, that melts right into your skin. And I want to I'm, I use this as a everyday now. That one squeeze kind of covered up this one side of my face. And I think the match looks pretty good. And it did cover my under eye circles. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and so, I don't know if you can see the difference, but they say this is full coverage. So let's just see. And so that's, so we're going to squeeze some more on it. Or the other side. I'm gonna really make it full coverage. I'm just tired of tired of sweating through my makeup. Like I said, I'm just patting it on. And I don't know if it um oxidizes, so. I hope it don't look too bad. Let's hope the match is right. The undertone isn't bad. And um, covered up my dark circles, so it is full coverage. <clears throat> and I'm, I don't think I use a lot. So it is full coverage. We can we can agree to to it being full coverage. I don't have a lot of dark marks on my face. It's just my under eyes. Um, we're not going to put no concealer on nothing. We're just going to go out into the elements. And then we'll come and check back at you guys. And I, um, we're just going to see how it works out. So, that was like, I think, I'll say two pumps, two squeezes, two pumps. I don't know. I'll put it on my brush. So, let's just come back in a couple hours and, um, See how this works. Now, mind you, I didn't put nothing underneath of it. No oils, because I usually put my rose or rose oil. I didn't put no primer on or anything. So let's just see how it wears. Now you know now, usually I'm in my room, and you know by now I usually will be sweating. Even with the air conditioner on sometimes, y'all. And Let's give it time to dry because it does feel like it's still drying. Um, I can say that it was easy to apply. I'm liking the coverage. I am liking the coverage. And it was really easy to apply. I still can see some of my... Um, dark circle right here covered this side pretty good but I still can see this side right here <clears throat> so let's just put a little bit more right here so I'm going to add another half a pump you know just a little bit and Okay, now, we're going to see, maybe that might have come from me when I swept, you know, was swiping it. So let's just see. Okay. Let's just see how it works out. So, I'll be back in a couple of hours to, uh, 
for the wear test and see how it wears. And let's just cross our fingers because we need we need some we need some luck here. I'm so tired of going through foundations trying to find the right one. I don't mind coming to you guys and reviewing them, but I really be trying to find the one for me, you know. And I'll go on YouTube and I'll try to, uh, you know, see if anybody came up with a, a, a brand is um, a new brand or um, a brand update in itself. But this really be for me, and um, I'll just be coming to share it with y'all. So, <coughs> we're going to go and we're going we're gonna to try to see what's going on. So, I'll be back in a couple of hours, okay? I got to run to the store and pick up my son. Bye. Well, see you later. Hey, everybody. It's me, Kim. Okay, I'm doing a wear test for this um, um, Tarte Amazon Clay Foundation. It's supposed to really control the oils in your skin. And um, I don't have no primer on, no lipstick, no latches, no nothing. Just straight um, foundation. I got it in the shade 575 because I told you I'm on the hunt for the most maddest foundation I can find to control these oils in my skin. My skin is super oily all the time. And so if I could find... Oh, I'm sorry for the finger, y'all. So I'm really trying to find... The foundation that works for my oils now I've had this foundation on for an hour so far so I'm gonna come back and maybe about another hour I might just keep doing about an hour or two hours but this is it after an hour and no oils are coming through so far so wish me luck peace oh excuse me y'all didn't mean to smoke let me put this out okay it's been another hour Stopping over at the quick check and um, let me cut the light on. Not too bad. I'm just seeing a little oil, a little glistening down there, right here. So it's been two hours and I don't have no primer underneath this straight foundation. And you can see a little glistening right there. I don't have nothing to block my face, so just a little bit wet. You know, I think I might have a winner, y'all. If I put some primer under it, you know, it might work a little better. So, I'm just going to keep on checking back and see how it is. Okay, I'm back. Um, I, I blotted it one time, y'all, because I um, didn't want to run into the store all glistening like that. But as you can see, this is the oil that seeped through and um, it did oxidize um, and I did get a little um, wet and it did when it gets wet it does transfer a little I don't know if you can see that but uh so blotting helps you know But um, there is a little transfer once you, um, you know, start, the oil start coming through. So, I'm going to try it with the primer on. And then um, we'll see how that works out when I wear it. So, there you have it. Like, um, I'm going to wear it for a while. And um, I think it did okay for the wear test because... It's been, so far it's been four, almost five hours. I didn't show you time, but from when I, you know, went to Princeton and stuff and came back, and then I stopped and got me one of those Popeye chicken sandwiches that everybody's raving about. They not bad. They not bad. They just can use some lettuce and tomatoes on it. But, um, I don't know. My energy is getting low now. I'm getting tired. And, um, I just wanted to come to y'all with, uh, Tart. Now, a lot of people reviewed this a long time ago, but I'm just getting hit to it, so I wish I had it known a long time ago because it's not bad. It's not bad at all. No, it's not bad at all. So next time I wear it, I'm going to put some primer underneath, 
and then see how it holds up. So, I want to take this wig off and um, get ready for bed. So, thanks for for watching, liking, and subscribing. And I'm beat y'all. Good night.